Welcome back to Upfront. COVID is surging once again in Wisconsin, and the governor says that state hospitals need help. He's asked the Biden administration to send 100 FEMA health care workers to help with staffing shortages at hospitals and long-term care facilities. The new COVID variant, Omicron, has been detected here, and we're talking about all of this now with Department of Health Services Secretary-designee Karen Timberlake. We appreciate you being with us. We know you're really busy, and I just saw that DHS is going to be recommending the Pfizer booster for 16 and 17 year olds. Just explain why someone young and healthy would need a booster. So what we've been finding and what our partners at the FDA and the CDC really have been finding as they've watched uh, how these vaccines have performed over time, over the course of this pandemic, is that vaccines remain the best way to protect all of us against infection with COVID-19 and particularly serious illness and hospitalization and death. And we are also finding that that level of immunity, that level of protection does start to decline over time. So if you think about other vaccines that we maybe got as children where we had to get two or three doses to be considered fully vaccinated, what we're really finding with the COVID-19 vaccines is we really should think of them now as a multi-vaccine series. And so the combination of just what we're learning about our experience with the vaccines and the disease, certainly the continued prevalence of the Delta variant, which really is what is continuing to make so many people sick and causing so much hospitalization in our state. And now the advent of the Omicron variant, all of those things have really encouraged the FDA and the CDC to look hard at everyone who can benefit from a booster dose and to make this most recent recommendation. Let's talk about FEMA a little bit. The state is asking the Biden administration to send 100 FEMA workers. Is there any confirmation on that they will for sure be coming and when would that be? We are in very active discussion with FEMA about the resources that are available, what our needs are as a state. What we have been finding is that we have taken many steps since the very beginning of the pandemic to ensure that we have the healthcare workforce that we need. So we've removed regulatory barriers. We've stood up uh, accelerated nurse aid training programs that many of our long-term care partners are participating in. We have used National Guard staff to support parts of the response. We have deployed staffing agency uh, professionals, so nurses and other kinds of healthcare providers through contracted agencies. And what we continue to see at, is that the high rate of illness in our state, the high rate of infection with COVID-19 is contributing to very high demand on our hospital systems in particular, as well as long-term care providers. And so we have to continue as the disease continues to change, as the pandemic continues to change, our strategies have to continue to change as well. And so we, we continue to be optimistic that there will be additional federal resources that will be made available to us. Unfortunately, this just seems like deja vu. We're heading into the holidays. Once again, cases are spiking, hospitals filling up, there's a need for ICU beds. Is this just going, is COVID just something we'll have to live with? Is this how it's going to be from now on? So the, the answer to that is yes, is sort of. <laughs> so yes, COVID is likely to be an illness that we're all going to need to continue to live with, but no, we are not going to need to continue to live with it at, the, at these levels, and we can't. What we are seeing across our state is that resources like hospital beds, like long-term care capacity, like healthcare workforce, those resources are limited. And so that's why it is so important for all of us to do what we can do as individuals to protect those resources. So that's things like getting vaccinated, getting boosted if you're eligible for a booster dose, wearing your mask in public settings indoors. Um, staying home when you're sick, washing your hands really well, getting tested if you feel symptomatic. Those kinds of strategies are likely to be with us for some time to come. But certainly this level of disease activity that we're seeing, this level of strain on our hospital systems is being directly caused by the Delta variant and the, the all the illness that the Delta variant is causing. We know what to do to combat the Delta variant. We just have to do it. 
Okay, and we hope that these cases slow down here as we go into the holidays. Secretary Timberlake, thank you. Thank you. Coming up, what business leaders say is the single biggest problem in Wisconsin.